What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. With the release of Curse of Osiris, we got a huge pool of goodies to try out. This consists of new weapons, new armor, ornaments, etc, etc, etc. But one of the few weapons that caught my eye while I was playing the Curse of Osiris campaign was the Omelon Foundry Legendary Scout Rifle Eternal Blazon, or Blazon, however you want to pronounce it. Now, this is one of three different types of weapons that are given to us from the story, and it is an energy weapon. When I seen it, I immediately went to my inventory to check out the RPM of the weapon, just to confirm something, and I was right. This scout rifle is the same archetype as the Mita multi-tool. Now, I love my Mita, and I have since Destiny 1, but other Guardians have their own opinions about it. So, how does the Eternal Blazon compare to the Mita? Well, we are going to find out in just a moment. Like the Mita, the Scout Rifle has an RPM of 200, an impact of 60, a range of 40, stability of 41, a reload speed of 61, with a handling of 66. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 20, an inventory size of 46, an aim assist of 67, and a recoil direction of 52. Other scout rifles in the same archetype are, of course, the Mita Multi-Tool, Skyburner's Oath, the new Trials scout rifle, Purpose, the scout rifle from the Raid, Conspirator, Mananen, SR4, Pleiades Corrector, and 765. There. Perks on this weapon are for the Intrinsic Perk, Lightweight Frame, which gives you superb handling, and you move faster with this weapon equipped. As for the sights, we have Spark PS, Flash HS5, as well as Signal MS5. We also have a Pendant Mag, as well as Steady Rounds. And for our trait, we have Moving Target, which increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Mine, I actually have a Void Damage mod on it, as well as the Bumblebee Shader, Bumblebee Tuna. Now, the Eternal Blazon has been in my inventory for quite some time, and one of my main weapons as I am doing endgame activities. It's a good scout rifle. It's a good scout rifle in PvE, even if its perks are more focused on PvP. However, in PvP, this weapon does decently, but this scout rifle is no Mita. On paper, looking at both the Eternal Blazon and Mita Multitool side by side, they have the same RPM, impact, and zoom. But, the Mita beats this thing hands down in range, reload speed, handling, inventory size, aim assist, and recoil direction, which is pretty much every stat. However, one thing to notice about the Eternal Blazon is that it has the worst aim assist in the entire archetype. The only stat that the Mita doesn't beat the Eternal Blazon is in stability and its stability only gets better with steady round and moving target. Lightweight frame gives you great handling and allows you to move faster when the weapon is equipped. A pen and mag increases your magazine size, which means in turn that you can DPS a little longer and moving target is great for PvE and PvP. Being a legendary energy weapon also helps this weapon out because we can apply Vanguard or Crucible Masterworks, which generates orb on multi-kills, and we gain a random bonus stat, which is either a plus 5 or plus 10, depending on the stat. Now, I'm not sure if anything will change, but as of this video, there are no exotic weapons that can use Masterworks. Truthfully, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the Purpose, which is the new Trial Scout Rifle, but that will be for another video. So in a nutshell, this is a great PvE weapon, but it would excel so much more in PvP if it had better stats. I don't know, maybe in the future Bungie will show it a little bit more love and give the Eternal Blazon a boost. Then again, maybe not. So, have you guys used the Eternal Blazon? If so, let me know what you guys think of it. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you guys have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.